Well, we've had this guest with us before. He made the Narcan nasal spray to treat opioid overdoses. Well, the news is he's now working with the feds on a stronger nasal spray to treat fentanyl overdoses. Ooh. Roger Crystal is back with us. He's the CEO of Opiant Pharmaceuticals. Roger, welcome back. Good morning. Let me get this right. You've got this nasal spray, and if someone's had an opioid overdose, spray, you save their life. That's it? Absolutely. Okay. You're working on something which would, if somebody's had an overdose of fentanyl, fentanyl, I guess, mm -hmm. oh. your nasal spray would save that life as well. You're working on this, correct? We're working on a follow-on product, absolutely, to the Narcan nasal spray, and our spray is called nasal nalmaphene. The reason we think it could have advantages is because it, nalmaphene as a drug itself is stronger than naloxone, it's five times stronger, and it lasts longer. Um, so that, we think, is particularly important because fentanyl, 50 times stronger than heroin, oh. and um, it, it, it remains in the blood for you know, seven, eight hours or so. Am so I right in saying many of the deaths, not all, but many of the deaths that we see in this crisis are from fentanyl contamination mm. of whatever it is that the young person has taken? Absolutely. In fact, um, the most recent data in 2017, 55% of opioid overdose deaths contain fentanyl. And what's even more of a concern when we think about how this opioid crisis will continue to evolve, we're seeing it already, and that is that um, fentanyl is being laced into the substances such as cocaine. Yeah. So someone's not even intending on taking an opioid, yet they're overdosing on fentanyl. Now, what's this I hear about the danger of fentanyl being weaponized? By that, I understand it to mean you could turn it into a gas, mm. spray it in a subway or somewhere, mm. and create mayhem. I mean, Indeed. Is that what the feds are worried about? Indeed. We have a situation where there's already a precedent out there. So back in 2002, um, there was a, an opera house massacre in, in Russia yeah. where some, there were some Chechnyans, yes. if you recall. Yep. 119 people died in that attack, and the gas that was used um, is fentanyl. So there's already, unfortunately, a precedent. And with the opioid crisis, um, the issue is now that there's so much fentanyl around. Recently in Nebraska, around 50 kilograms was seized, enough to kill 25 million people. 50 oh, kilograms? Indeed. So it doesn't take a lot to do severe harm. So. Uh, fortunately, we believe we can provide part of that solution, and that is um, with our arrangement, our contract with BADA, they're supporting us by helping us develop this nasal nalmaphene in a way that would be suited for this type of situation. And we think that if we're successful in the development stage, then they would potentially be able to look towards stockpiling it. They've been but terrific supporters. You're not there yet. We're not there yet. We have some yeah. fantastic data already, though, which uh, we're highly encouraged by. And we have the funding to take this all the way to filing for approval. And we believe that will happen in 2020. So we're not far off. Uh, am I, I've got to get this really clear here. That nasal spray that you have is, saves lives. It does not cure the addiction. Indeed. As a company, though, our remit is not just around overdose. It's also around developing drugs to treat addictions. In fact, not just opioid addiction. We, in opioid addiction, for example, we do have other things. We've got this heroin vaccine. It's earlier stage, but it's a very exciting drug, potentially. But the other things we're doing, for example, are in alcohol addiction and eating disorders as well. Good Addictive behaviors wow. to the food. Uh, uh, Roger Crystal, that's very interesting. Opiant Pharmaceuticals, CEO thereof. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank sir. you. Come and see us again. Thank you. Thank you, sir.